Yo, Nico, thank you for the $20, man. Friggin' A. I really appreciate that. Uh, since what's chance? The wall jump? Um, so what I can do with pra with practicing the wall jump is, um, I still need to jump at the right angle, and I still need to have the right amount of speed, so I can increase my chances of getting it consistently by constantly doing the same style of jump, and that jump is one that will give me the wall jump, right? I can... If I jump in a different place in the wall, I can, even if the game gives me the right subpixel value, I might not clip into the wall to get the wall jump. So I still have to perfect like where I'm jumping into the wall uh, to get the clip. So stupid, man. I waited less amount of time that time and I went in the block faster. You're gonna keep some stats? Nice, man, I like that. How does that block work? You just simply hold down for about five, five seconds or so. Uh, you can't practice the hands, no. But the best thing you can do, which I haven't done in the past, like, five minutes, is every single attempt I do should get to the hands. Right? If every attempt I did got to the hands, we'd see no hands probably more often. But I still think that I, I get to the hands pretty often. Like, it, it's not, like, a rare thing. I'll be in like a world one rut for maybe five minutes and then I'll get it. Yo, thank you, Costin. And unlike early hammer, like when we, when we would get early hammer, you know, you wouldn't see early hammer again for another like three days. I can get no hands and then get no hands and get like I can get no hands like four or five times in a stream. Cheap bit badge. Take me down, freaks. Yo, is that your new bit badge? Take me down, you frigs. Yo, BD, congrats on being bit boss, man. You're almost in second place as well. Pretty good, man. Or sorry, third place. Uh, yeah, the hands work similar to the bosses with the fire patterns, except the bosses with the patterns, like, their RNG will, will, will cycle over every time I beat a level, it'll, like, restart. The hands RNG pattern starts from powering on the system, and whatever frame I get, whatever frame I have whenever I get to the hands is what it's going to be. Right? Uh-oh. Don't want to go down there. I had to make sure I did that. Alright, finally get to get your guesses in, guys. I'm going to guess the first hand and then the last hand. So hand one and hand three. That's my guess. These hands, you don't want them. You don't need them. Combo. I'm feeling zero. You feeling lucky, are you? That's why. I, that's why I like this category because we get to experience that 
crazy RNG that we want so bad in Warpless more. First and second. What's the probability of the hands? 50-50, and there's three of them. Close, guys. That got the nerves going, didn't it? Ugh. Oh my gosh, let's go. The ultimate tease, right? That was like, I got past the first and second, and the third one's like, where do you think you're going? Get your ass back here. Let's do it. Scary time. <laughs> that is the most... That is the scariest thing I ever do. And, and anything that I do in this game, that's got to be the scariest one. Out of all the strats. So I've mentioned before, probably since about 2005 or 6, you've needed no hands to get world record. So over 12 years, you've never been able to get the world record unless you got no hands. It's never been possible. When I started speedrunning this game, it was impossible to get world record in this category if I got a hand. It was already like that when I started speedrunning this category. The strats that I developed in this category made made it close, but still impossible for me. Close, but still impossible. Bicken, bucking, bicken. Oh, not only do we have to get hand RNG, but we also have to get sun RNG. Oh yeah, I wanted to shoot that sun right in the face. Do I think castle clip is necessary too? What do you mean? Like the clip that I'm doing right now? I really don't want to jump on that dry bones. But I got my P speed. What does it mean, no warps? There's that glitch in World 7 that takes you right to the end of the game in like three minutes. I'm not doing that glitch. Good luck with the wall clip. Yes, thank you. Good luck with the wall clip. Thank you, Amy. It seems you've come to your senses. Ah. I would clap if you got world record, but that means I gave you a hand. Yeah, I don't want any hands. No hands for me, please. Nice, I just caught up on chat. Did I get hands? I got one hand, the last hand.
<laughs> and that is true. Good old sick days. I ran back too far. I was one pixel away. I ran back too far. I was close. But I got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, this room is like, um... Sorry, go back to the beginning room. There's a couple doors in Bowser's castle that if you go inside of them, it'll take you to that room. And that room takes you back to the beginning of the game, or the beginning of the level. It's like a reset room, almost. Yeah, so my- yo, sub 12 with the Task Bowser. I like that, man. That's good. That's pretty good. Damn right, my time's getting lower and lower with the task task strats. Right on, 11.55. Yo, Cublix, what's going on? So, I did everything fine, just fine. The problem was is that whenever I landed with the star on the ground before I did my wall jump, I went 